Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Carmel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my work bag. I did a what's in my bag, I think, last year, last summer, around that time. But I wanted to show you guys what I bring to work every single day because what I bring in my work bag is different than what I carry in my, like, when I'm going out bag, stuff like that. I don't know why, I just, I feel like I need more stuff when I go to work, so. I hope you guys like this video, and let's just go ahead and get started. So, this is my work bag. It is a Boatkir, Boatkir, Boatkir bag. I don't know, man, they sell it at Bloomingdale's. Um, so I love this bag because it fits everything, and there's still so much more room. It's not that heavy, it holds a lot, and the straps, first of all, are long, but they're not like, they're not like crazy long, you know what I mean? Like, I hate when straps, there's like, not a middle, you know? Like, they're either too short, where like, I can't put them on my shoulder, because they'll just like, hit right there, or they're just too long, because like, I'm short, so like, if <laughs> If the straps are too long, like, it makes me look like I'm carrying, like, I'm two years old carrying my mother's bag. Like, yeah, it's bad. So, I love these straps. They're literally the perfect size for me. Look at that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Fun and fresh, people. We love that. So, nice long handle straps. It has, uh, like, zipper detailing here. They're not actual zippers. It doesn't expand. Um, it does have gold hardware, which is not my favorite, but I mean, we can't win every single battle, so, whatever. <laughs> the inside is red, and then it has like a, kind of reminds me of like Louboutins, you know, um, and then the red, just, uh, and then the red, and then inside it has like a pouch, and then the main like mother pocket. So starting with, oh, I didn't even realize this. It has like um two mini like pockets here. Oh, yeah, two mini pockets there. Didn't know that. Can put my Metro card there. Now I know. All right, but in this little pouch, I have my, these are my driving sunglasses. I took them, I was wearing them on my head, so I keep them like, I keep them like sticking out like there so I can remember when I get in my car to just put them back there. So next I have my phone, wallflower cases, pink plaid one, I'll link that. And I have, first thing is my metro card which I haven't used in a while because I've been driving everywhere. Um, but this is really cool. So if you live in New York City and you don't have a Metro card holder, what are you doing? It's fun. It's fresh. Mine's a little broken, but I got this at the Met. Very handy. Uh, next thing I have is my Tory Burch Roller Perfume. It's actually almost... Oh, no, I'm not. Just kidding. thought I was almost out. Oh, actually, yes, I am. Yeah. Roller balls. People. Revolutionary. <laughs> I never used to keep like a rollerball perfume in my bag. I don't know why, because it's so handy to just reapply your perfume when it fades. Because for some reason, men's cologne lasts all day. Women's cologne, it lasts 20 minutes. So I'm going to leave for work, so I'm just going to like start putting the stuff back in because I have to leave for work soon and I don't want to like repack my bag, you know what I mean? And I also don't want to forget anything. And next thing I have is a chopstick and also Aquaphor. Is the light too bright that it won't focus? <laughs> yeah, so I have Aquaphor, chopstick, and then I have my work ID. You gotta keep multiple lip products. I'm the type of person that will leave like one of these somewhere. And that's my problem. So sometimes I'll take my Aquaphor out and I'll put it in my lab coat so like when I'm working and I just, I could just, you know, fix my dry lips or whatever. And then I'll end up forgetting it and then I won't have it in my bag 
or I'll take this out of my bag when I'm home then I won't have it at work so it's like you gotta keep two backups people backups and like the main big pocket first thing I have here is this pouch this is actually from BH cosmetics I ordered a bunch of brushes from them and I just got like a bunch of pouches so I just decided to use put all my stuff in there so I think I've upped up my like drug game since the last time so I have Motrin and which I think I showed last time but I've also purchased Midol because if you are a girl you are a woman okay and if you have really really excruciating like cramps yeah because I my cramps like suck. I will die okay and like come back into life when I get whenever I get it's that time of the month so Motrin wasn't cutting it I'm gonna keep it because ibuprofen I feel like I could use it sometimes so I'm keeping that but Midol definitely is the way to go if you have bad period pains I also keep some Pepto-Bismol chewy tablets here um, hand sanitizer hand cream and then tissues so that's what's in this little pouch <laughs> oh man oh and then this bag has like a key strap so I just keep like my my keys in there so it's easy to like reach and also it like clips like that uh, well yeah like that so it's like fun fresh love that the next thing I have in here is another pouch I like to organize my bag in pouches um, so this is like a loxiton just pouch and in it I keep pads cuz you never know and this has saved my life so many times because I am terrible at like updating my period app so <laughs> I'll just like get my period and I'll be surprised that I'm getting it so this is great very great thing to have next thing is a BH cosmetics oh okay oh that is like my little to-go makeup thing so I ordered a like mini brush set from BH cosmetics so that I could like have it to carry like this in my work bag because sometimes like I wear make like I wear makeup to work most of the time, but there are some times that like I won't, and you never know when you're gonna need to look presentable. So I just keep like a beauty sponge in here. I have banana powder. I have my favorite Bobbi Brown lipstick because I feel like that like I can never go wrong with that. I have the Sephora concealer. What is this? The Bright Future concealer. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation. Um, this is a Laura Mercier bronzer. And then I have the Lancome Hypnos Drama. And then I just have like mini, ooh, oh, it's gonna fall. Then I have like mini brushes in there. So like a foundation brush, eyeshadow brushes, um, powder brush, all that jazz, so. I have not used this kit yet. But I feel like one day it will it will come in handy. I don't know when, but I'm sure at some point it will. <laughs> Next, I have my Michael Kors wallet. You guys, I think this was the same one that I was using in my last What's in My Bag. I do change my wallets, but like I've been using smaller bags. So I'm just, it's so easy to just take it and transfer it within my small bags. Next thing is the summer's eve aloe love cleansing cloth ladies if you don't have this in your book bag if you don't have this in your bag what you doing <laughs> these are the best thing ever to carry with you to stay fresh i love them so if you haven't heard of summer's eve these are for your lady parts and they like freshen they help balance your ph removes odor causing bacteria so you're always smelling fresh 
they're just they're great to have I have this I use the soap and it's just carrying these is just like it's great you know just love that next thing I have in here is my charger so this case is from Arturo it's like an Italian brand Arturo Milano I know and I just keep my charger in here because I used to just throw my charger in my bag and then it would get tangled and everything and Apple chargers are way too expensive for me to like play games keep it nice and neat in my pouch I can grab it when I need it always find it love that then I have my sunglass case so this is these are like my everyday sunglasses these are my driving sunglasses that I keep in my car they're polarized so also these are from Prevay Revo in case you were wondering I doubt you were but these are the Monarch I personally don't have these in my everyday collection because I just feel like they're super bougie and I just I don't know whenever I feel like I like super bougie I just take them off so I'm more of an aviator kind of girl so these I just wear in my car because they're polarized but if you're looking for good quality cheap sunglasses that are hello polarized wondering polarization is it is when it absorbs the glare so yeah I used to work at sunglass hut so I've been knowing the sunglass terminology whatever but yeah guys polarization great if you own a, if you drive a BMW though you don't need polarized sunglasses because your dashboard is already polarized so fun fact so back to this sunglass case my boyfriend got this for me in Port Port Portugal and I just keep my sunglasses in here these are just from loft they're just like aviators they're brown they're like they're gold basically they're like a bronze gold tortoise shell aviators these are not polarized but I love these sunglasses they just I can't tell that they're not polarized I feel like it it's basically polarized um, and then I also keep like a cloth in here to clean these actually came with my purvey revels I think I need another pair of those last thing I have in here are my Warby Parker glasses so these babies are dirty as hell. So these babies are non-prescription, but they are anti-blue light. But because I'm staring at a computer screen all day at work, I decided to get um, anti-blue light glasses. So these are just from Warby Parker. They're non-prescription. I think these are the shade, the style Wallace, Wally, Wallace, Wallace. I think it's Wallace. I'll have these linked below but the best purchase I've ever made in my entire life I wear them all day at work sometimes I'll even wear them when I'm just like not wearing makeup um, but they I feel a difference and if you're someone that's always staring at a computer screen it's like anti blue light glasses help so much because I'm not straining my eyes I can literally feel my like muscles like being like relaxing and it's just it's so great but that's everything that's in my bag I hope you guys found it interesting I hope you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already I make a new video every single Friday and guess what you can even take it a step further by hitting that notification bell to get notified every single time I post yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. Catch you later.